Welcome back to Site Tech in a Mountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, I wanted to talk about infill designs and an option in the alignment and section that isn't used very often. So in your job setup here for your project, you can go ahead and pick a project that you're on. You can go to infill design and down here for the black boxes next to design. You can come in here and you can see any that we have in here. I'll delete out an old one that I have. And I have a blank screen. So right here, I have a create button at the bottom. So when you go to create, there's level, slope, and alignment section. In alignment and section, there's a three-step process. One, two, three, one to do um, to record or the alignment that, that you want, the points that you want, and then two to create it on the screen, and three to name it and orient it. Right off the bat, how it's asking me here for step one is how do I want to create my alignment? So Right here, I've got a situation where I want to dig a, a kind of a, a, a V ditch, if you will, along the side of this pile. I'm going to go from right in front of me to back here behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and create my alignment. I want to start right out in front of me right here. So on the screen, I'm going to use focus point, which I'm going to use the bucket to shoot my points. So on the left side of the screen right here, it's showing you the middle of your bucket for the focus, right, left, or the middle. I'm going to leave it on the middle, and I'm going to hit this yellow button to start my very first point. So there's my northing, easting, and elevation on the right side of the screen. What I'm going to do is just simply spin behind me. I'm just making a very basic one here to create the points. So I'm going to just go behind me, and I'm going to hit this plus button one more time. So I have a very, very basic, simple alignment in between those two points. But on the next screen, if I go from this step one to step two... It's going to ask me, how do I want to create the design, the V-ditch, the road, whatever I want to do in between the two points I made? Most of the time, people are just doing the on-screen option, which is allowing you to create it on-screen by keying in numbers or dragging it. The one that hasn't been used very often that I want to do in this video is this option right here that's called focus point. It says to use the focus to create the section. So you can use the machine to mimic or mirror something that's actually out on the job site. So let's show you how it works. So if I go to focus, you're going to see a, the same screen that would come up if you did it manually by yourself. But I'm going to show you that over here we've got kind of a makeshift V-ditch that they've told me that they want to actually use to match this road or the side of this pile up with. So as you can see right out in front of me, I've got kind of a, a slope off the pile right here down to a flat point and then back up. So what I want to do is I want to mirror image this. So I'm going to go ahead and set up at the top right here. So I'm going to put my focus point on the middle and I'm going to go to the next screen. I'm going to start at the very top there and I'm going to create a point. Now what I'm going to do is come down here. What you're going to notice, though, it's not going to let you change the focus point after you do that the very first time. So that's why I picked the middle of the bucket. So what I'm going to do is put the middle of my bucket down at the actual V or the bottom of that slope, and I'm going to record a point right there. Now what I'm going to do is come to the middle of the V ditch, and I'm going to create a point right in the very middle of this, and this will make more sense for the next screen. And I'm going to create a point there. So you can see as I zoom in, it's creating my alignment, or my, my cross section for me. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to record the middle of my bucket at that toe slope right there also. And then I'm going to come up to the very top of this slope, put the very center of my bucket right there, and record a point. And then if I want to, I could create another one over here at the very back to basically mimic it. So now as I zoom in, you'll see it made a cross section, but not keying it in on the screen. I actually used the machine to follow something. So if I go to my next screen right here, now what I can do is put this in 3D view, and I can zoom in, and you can see what it's created for me. So what I do want to do, though, is I want to move over to the very center of that. And that's the reason why I made that point in the middle is because now I've made that alignment that I shot originally in step one is the center line of my design right there. So now we'll go ahead and call this the uh, slope ditch. What I can do is extend each end of it also. So you can see right there where the B is on that end and the A on this end. If I needed to make a little bit further, I can go here and maybe add 10 feet to each side 
make it just a little bit longer, and then I'll hit apply. So now that I hit apply, I'm going to swing back over, and I'm going to track back up to where I kind of started that I want to actually start digging. Now that I've got that set up in my job site right here for slope ditch, I'll go ahead and load that. And you can instantly see right where the machine is now that I've moved up to this point right here, that I've got something to actually start creating. So now I can go ahead and actually start digging that and it'll actually match. Let's go ahead and change to a split screen view right here. So there's that one. We'll change this view right here to a 3D view. So I can kind of watch both of them and you can change that view to see it however you want. Now what I've got is a design based off of what they've done right there. If I need to put a vertical offset in there, which I will put a minus one in there, we'll put one, enter, and then minus. Now I can go ahead and start digging, and I can actually start making that V-ditch and match it the exact same way that it is on that other one over there. So you can do this for cross sections of footings, slopes. If you have a slope that you're trying to match while you're digging footings, or if you're, uh, you've got some actual V-ditches, out on a job site, now you can go ahead and just mimic what's there without having to go out and as built it beforehand and get the measurements off of it that way. But as you can see, you can basically make whatever you want on the job site and start cutting it, start making it what you need. Well, thank you for watching this video from SciTech Intermountain on Earthworks infield designs using the focus point to make the cross section. Hopefully this helps in your job sites to create whatever you need at any point. My name is Jeff Larson and thanks for watching.